take that airplane uh, out of the desert and rebuild it and we get it back in flying shape. At least 40% of what we use to regenerate this aircraft will come from another Air Force that's sitting out in the desert. Each and every day we reclaim about 50 parts off of the aircraft here and send them to keep the aircraft fleet that they have right now current and flying. We have tons of great parts out here and no sense in letting go to waste. So 90% of the stuff we pull is just as good as anything as a brand new part. It's just dirty. There's very few parts that I've pulled since I've been out here that were deemed bad. There is a savings of dollars when we reclaim parts from here at the boneyard, but that's not actually the biggest benefit. The biggest benefit is the largest number of parts we reclaim cannot be bought. There we go, and that's our job in a nutshell. And therefore, if without the parts that we reclaim here at the boneyard, we'd stop flying. So it's not as much about money, it's about mission. And the mission would stop if we stopped reclaiming parts from here. Yep, that's it. Yeah. For the most part, we just we just pull parts and send them in all day, you know, one after another. It's a great job. So a lot of different things occur here all the time. We also do a little bit of disposal, taking aircraft that nobody has a need for anymore within the entire federal government and actually getting rid of them, cutting them up into tiny pieces and getting rid of them. And it takes a total of about, for a C-5, processing and shipping out about a week. We are uh, demilling the fuselage of the C-5. Basically what we do is we just tear it down, uh, we shred it up, and then we send it off to refineries to be processed into other materials. I can see we're uh, driving down the road and some of the aircraft and missing wings and uh, missing the canopy. They think, yeah, it's, it's a junkyard or the boneyard. Yeah, but they don't realize that missing wing might be flying in another aircraft. That missing cockpit window could be in another aircraft. Some of us retired military think that that's it. We don't do nothing else, but no, we continue with our mission helping out the younger soldiers one way or another accomplish their mission. And now let's take a look at some unique imagery from the Boneyard. The Boeing YAL Airborne Laser Testbed Weapon System now sits decommissioned at the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group at Davis Mountain Air Force Base, Arizona. A C-5 Galaxy aircraft sits motionless while clouds pass overhead as it waits to be taken apart. Rows of F-15 Eagles and F-16 Fighting Falcons are stored and preserved. This allows them to be recalled into active service within 72 hours if needed. The F-4 Phantom II, which served as a principal air superiority fighter for the Air Force for over 20 years, has been a resident of the Boneyard since 1996. And that's Photos from the Boneyard. I'm Staff Sergeant Michael Brady. Coming up, we'll meet airmen who flew these aircraft and their special connection with the Boneyard when today's Air Force returns. The design of the new Aaron Magazine, it's evolved into something now that's just really amazing to look at and to experience. This new generation that is coming in, they're very plugged into new technology and they're used to getting their news uh, on their phone or on their, their tablets and I think it's going to be perfect for those people out there who want that. It comes to life. Your multimedia is your audio, uh, your video, and you can bring this thing to people uh, which we couldn't do with a magazine in the past. To me it's very user friendly. Having it on the on your tablet, you can take it wherever you want to go. Perfect for the person who's traveling uh, all over the place, but still wants to stay up to date on, on what's going on in their service. It's an amazing new addition to the Air Force. Environmental management systems empower pollution prevention. 
They empower us to know what is disposable and what is reusable. To rethink what we already do, but with a renewed purpose. And they remind us how all the small things can equal big results. Helping us build a better world one day at a time. With EMS to light the way, each one of us can make a world of difference. EMS. Conserve today. Secure tomorrow. Blue Acts of Green. Welcome back to today's Air Force. As we've been learning, the Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group has an important mission to not only store and preserve aircraft, but also aircraft regeneration, maintenance, and parts reclamation. But the lifeblood of the Boneyard is the dedicated team charged with accomplishing this mission, so let's head to their office. My name is uh, Larry G. Right now you're in the uh, F-4, a drone production hangar. A drone is an unmanned aircraft that, that is flown by...